All right, in this example, we have a ball thrown into the air, and its height above the ground can be modeled by the function h of x equals negative 0.01x squared plus 0.82x plus 6, where h of x is the height of the ball in feet, and x is the horizontal distance the ball has traveled in feet. And what we want to do is find the maximum height of the ball. All right, so taking a look at the model, this function gives us the height. H, right, is the height. X is the uh, horizontal distance in feet. And looking at this function, it's a quadratic function, right? It's a real number times x squared plus another real number times x plus a constant. So it's a quadratic function. And what we know about the graphs of quadratic functions is that they're parabolas. So a parabola is a U-shaped thing, sort of U-shaped, and they either open up or they open down. So it either looks a little like this one where it ha opens up, or the other possibility is that it opens down like this one over here. So how do we figure out which case we're in? Well, what you need to do is to take a look at the number with x squared. Okay, and here it's negative. And if you have a negative number with x squared when it's in the standard format, the it's one of the downward opening parabolas. So what we know is that the graph of h of x is going to look something like this picture here. So you may wonder, why didn't I graph it over here? Well, normally I would if we were just talking about the parabola, but this is an application problem, and um, over here the x's would be negative, which really don't make sense in this context, right? X is the number is the horizontal feet that the ball has traveled, so that would be zero before you throw it, and then um, once you throw it, it would start accumulating. All right, and so what this problem boils down to is finding the vertex of that parabola. We want um, to where, where the height is the biggest, the biggest possible height, and that's going to be on this point right here, which is called the vertex. So this problem is going to boil down to finding out what the vertex is, right? And then once we have the vertex, which is a coordinate pair, right, we want the y-coordinate. That will give us how far up on this axis is the point, which this is the height that it will reach, okay? All right. So we know we're going to find the vertex of the parabola. There's a couple different ways you can think about doing this, but probably the easiest way is to um, just f figure out what the, uh, the uh, your a, b, and c value would be, just like in the quadratic formula. And here... A would be uh, the value with x squared minus 0.01. B would be 0.82. And in the quadratic formula, you'd use um, C. You'd figure out C, which we don't really need for this calculation. But if, if you do that, then the x-coordinate of the vertex is going to be minus B over 2A. Okay. So again, there's uh, a couple of ways that you could come to that. One is by sort of completing the square on the uh, standard form of the quadratic. All right, so for us, we know that um, B is 0.82 and A is negative 0.01. So if we substitute those in into minus B over 2A and do a little simplifying, what we get is um, 41, so that would be 41 feet. So don't forget that uh, that is a value for x, right? That's the x coordinate of the vertex, so one half of it. And that's actually the horizontal distance at which it's going to achieve the max height, but right, not the answer to, to our problem here. So what we really want is the y coordinate of the vertex. And to get that, all you have to do is to take that x value that we just got and plug it into your function h of 41. The reason, right, is because the vertex is a point on the graph. So, And we know its x value is 41. So to find the corresponding y value, we would just plug it into the function itself. So, so go back to the original function and substitute in 41.
All right, and then we're going to run through those calculations there. Square 41, multiply 41 times 0.82. All right, and keep working through that. And when we simplify all that out, we get 22.81 feet. And that actually is the answer that we're looking for there. That's the height that the ball achieved. So, so that's the final answer. But just to kind of illustrate the point here, right, is that uh, we were looking for the vertex. Graphically, we were looking for the vertex. And we found the vertex, right, the coordinate pair would be 41 and 22. 2.81. So what that means, right, is um, if I go straight down to the x-axis there, that'll be at 41, and that would be the horizontal distance in this case um, in which the uh, ball achieved its maximum height. And then if we project over here to the y-axis or h of x axis there, we see that we get that would be 22.81. So that would be the maximum height of the ball in this problem.